But all throughout the word of God, we see God is, God is male. God is male. There's the Father. There's the Son. And then we have the Holy, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which we saw this passage earlier too in John 15, verse 26. I made a point of it this morning. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And you see that, that pronoun all the time. He, him, he will be sent. I'm going to send him, right? It's always a masculine pronoun. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, masculine. Second Corinthians or First Corinthians chapter eleven, where we started off, we're talking about man being made in the image of God. Just one more reference to that of man being made in God's image and not woman. Verse number seven, where we started off there. Look at verse number seven. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God. Man is so it's saying, why shouldn't a man's head be covered? And I'm not going to go into this in detail, but. The covering that the Bible is referring to in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 is your hair. Because it even says in the passage that the hair is given for a covering. Just read the passage for yourself. Um, verse number 15, but if a woman have long hair, is a glory to her? For her hair is given her for a covering. So every time you see covering being used in this passage, it's synonymous with hair because that's the covering that God gave us. And you could, and I'm not going to go into the whole hair thing, right? Men are supposed to have short hair. Women are supposed to have long hair. That's what the Bible teaches. Get over it if it offends you. Just accept God's word. But this is why he's saying that a man ought not to have his head covered. A man ought not to have long hair because he was made in the image of God. That is why. He's supposed to be the glory of God and reflect God and be in the image of God. And when you start letting your hair grow out long... You're no longer showing the glory of God because that's not the image of God. You know what that tells me? God doesn't have long hair. Jesus didn't have long hair. Okay? Jesus is the express image of God the Father. You say, well, Jesus had long hair. Maybe God the Father. No. Jesus was the express image. And if we're supposed to be the image of God, and Jesus was the express image of God, and it's saying, if you have long hair, you're not going to be the image of God, then that just settles it all right there. None of them have long hair. He is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. And that's where the difference is that, uh, you know, woman wasn't made in the image of God, but she is supposed to be the glory of man. And it says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Of meaning from, right? God didn't create woman and then make man out of the woman. God made man, and they'd made the woman out of the man by taking the rib out of Adam and then creating woman. That's the way he did it. Okay? Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. The woman was created to be a help meet for her husband. Adam needed a partner. God said it's not good for the man to be alone, so he created and helped meet for him. Someone suitable, a suitable partner for Adam to spend his life with. And none of the beasts were good enough to be a partner for Adam, which is why he created a woman. But Adam was made in the image of God to be a glory unto God, and the woman was made out of man to be the glory of the man. 